Hi friends, do you know what is the most common state of matter in the entire universe? Is it a solid, liquid or gas? You may be surprised to hear that it is none of these. The correct answer is plasma, the fourth state of matter and that's going to be the topic of this video. Plasma makes up more than 99% of visible matter in the universe. It is found in the stars including our own sun as well as in the vast regions of space between galaxies. I bought this plasma ball so that I can show you what the plasma state looks like. I'll turn off the lights and let's switch on this plasma ball. Wow, doesn't it look beautiful? This glass ball contains noble gases like neon and argon. There is a Tesla coil in the center that generates a very high voltage of a few thousand volts. When I switch it on, the gas inside the ball gets ionized and changes into plasma state. The plasma creates the glowing filaments and lightning effects that you see here. This plasma ball should not be touched with wet hands or a metal or hard object since it contains a high voltage coil. When I touch it with my fingers, you can see that the lightning patterns follow my fingers as a very small current passes through my body. Are you ready for some magic with this plasma ball? I am going to bring this CFL bulb near the plasma ball. As you can see, the bulb has no wires at all. Let's turn off the lights and see what happens. Oh my god, this is like magic. The bulb is lighting up. It's like wireless electricity. Isn't it really cool? How does that bulb light up? Do let me know in the comments below. Plasma is present in fluorescent lights and is used in television display panels. You must have heard of plasma TVs, right? They use plasma for their display. In nature, plasma is present in lightning, in flames and auroras, also known as northern lights. What is plasma made of? Plasma is a state of matter that is similar to a gas, but it is made of charged particles like ions and electrons. In plasma, the electrons have been stripped away from their atoms, leaving behind positively charged ions and negatively charged electrons that can move around freely. Plasma is often found at high temperature, such as in stars, lightning and fluorescent lights. Plasma is a unique state of matter that has a number of interesting properties. Plasma is an excellent conductor of electricity due to the presence of charged particles such as ions and free electrons. Plasma has the ability to self-organize into complex structures such as filaments and vortices which can lead to interesting patterns like you can see in the plasma globe. Plasma can be extremely hot with temperatures ranging from thousands to millions of degrees Celsius. This high energy causes plasma to emit light and radiation like the sun and all the stars do. Now let's talk about plasma TVs. Do you know how plasma TVs work? The plasma TV display uses lots of tiny tiny cells filled with a noble gas to create an image on the screen. When an electric current is applied to the gas in each cell, it ionizes the gas and creates plasma which emits ultraviolet light. This ultraviolet light then strikes a layer of phosphors which convert it into visible light to create an image. The TV controls the voltage applied to each cell to create a pattern of glowing cells that form your colored image and you enjoy the TV. Just like plasma TVs, fluorescent light bulbs and neon signs also contain plasma which is used to give off light. In industry, plasma is used in welding and cutting metals. A high temperature plasma torch can easily cut through metals like butter. So next time you see a plasma globe, a neon sign or a plasma TV, remember that it's more than just a pretty display. It's the fourth state of matter that is also present in the sun and stars. And in fact, it's the most common state of matter in the entire universe. Now that you know about solids, liquids, gases and plasma, do you know what is the fifth state of matter? 
Let me know your answer in the comments below. And if you would like a video on that, do let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of our videos. So stay connected with Manocha Academy and keep learning.